Oh, what is going on, everybody? Oh. It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Phoenix, right where we left off. We got finished. Drama bomb. Yeah, we got finished with another trial, but we had more drama yes. come out of it. Because it turns out that she is a witness in the Joe Dark killings. And that she almost got killed by Joe Dark, but yeah, uh, Marshall's was brother died Save saving Mama. her. Yeah. Was... All right. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to her about this stuff. So, the SL9 incident. Let's talk. It happened two years ago. It was uh, right about this time of the year, too. There was a terrible thunderstorm that day, unusual for the season. I was alone in my sister's office. We were planning to eat dinner together once she finished her work. And suddenly, this terrifying man came bursting into the office. Joe Dark. It seemed like he was running from someone. He pulled out a knife and screamed at me. I didn't know what was going on. Just then, Prosecutor Marshall showed up. Jake Marshall's brother. Joe Dark tried to take me hostage. Before he could, Mr. Marshall tackled him. Then... What happened? I I'll never forget it. Lightning struck and the lights went out. Suddenly... A bolt of lightning flashed outside the window, lighting up the office for an instant. What I saw then burned a permanent picture in my mind. I... I can still see it now. Huh. I feel like that may play a part to everything. Mm-hmm. Because you, she only saw it through a flash of lightning. Yeah. Permanent picture. Because I don't remember the moment when Dark stabbed Mr. Marshall. Mm. So you weren't able to testify about that? No, I was only asked about when I was attacked. That must be why Lana... Why she made up the crime. Made it up? You mean provided bogus evidence? The prosecutor's office wanted that guilty verdict so badly. Lana forged the evidence and Mr. Edgeworth used it. Edgeworth? Yes, but I'm sure he didn't know anything about it. <clears throat> he couldn't have known he was being given false evidence. Probably. Even so, that's when it all started. The rumors about Mr. Edgeworth, I mean. It's all my fault. If I could have just testified properly, none of this would have happened. So it's true, even though I may not have known it. Edgeworth really was involved in <sighs> falsifying evidence. After that case ended, Lana was never the same. She became cold, like she is today. She must not have been able to face up what she did. Especially not to Emma. For real. Jesus Christ. Hmm. So what did you see in the incident the crime occurred? Ugh. Dark knocked down Mr. Marshall and raised his knife. Neil Marshall was stabbed right in front of this poor girl. I don't remember what happened after that. Apparently, I passed out. When I came to, Lana was cradling me in her arms. Poor Emma. You've been through so much. For real? <laughs> Jesus. I, I couldn't bring myself to testify about that instant. I tried, but the words just wouldn't come out. I drew a picture, but it wasn't any good. Two years ago. He must have been 14. It's Jeez. understandable. Yeah. Once it was all over, I made up my mind. I decided that when I grew up, I'd become a scientific investigator. I want to be able to fight crime with my testimonies. And find the evidence to make an airtight case. That way, Lana would never have to forge any. I see. I think I'm finally starting to understand what makes Emma tick. But there's still something that bothers me about that crime. Yeah. Something puzzling. Like I said, because like Officer Marshall pointed out, is that his brother wouldn't lose a fight, but his brother did lose the fight and die. Yeah. But the moment of the crime wasn't technically seen by the one witness. Yeah. All right, let's find out. Let's get more about this. There's something that's puzzling me, Emma. What is it? You said you were in Lana's office at that time, right? That's right. Why then would a serial killer come running in there? Not only that, but he was being chased by a prosecutor? 
Oh, there's no mystery there. Jodark had been taken in for questioning that day. Taken in for questioning? You mean by the police? Of course. This happened at the police department. He tried to run away halfway through the interview and fled into my sister's office. But why did he run all the way over to your sister's office? Because the detective offices in the questioning room are right across from the elevator. Huh. Across from the elevator? Bolano was the chief prosecutor, wasn't she? No, silly! Didn't I tell you? Two years ago, Lana was a detective. She was the best in the entire force. What? That's <laughs> news to me. Yeah. After the Joe Dark case, she was transferred to the prosecutor's office and made chief prosecutor. Lana used to be the detective? I'd better have another talk with her. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's where we should go now. Yeah. Detention center. Let's go ahead and talk. Tell about you being a detective. Idea a catechative. What? I don't know. I just you completely went weird. But Lana, Mr. Wright, it seems I keep causing you trouble. Falsifying evidence. I didn't think you were the type. Criminals don't mind playing foul. Why should we? But Lana, if you're wrong, an innocent person might be found guilty. Believe me, I understand the risks. Lana, Emma told me about you. Oh? About how you were a detective two years ago. And how the SL9 incident was the reason for your transfer to the prosecutor's office. That's right. Could you fill me in on the details? Especially about that unusual change of jobs? Hmm. I suppose you have a right to know, Mr. Wright. It is my Mr. <sighs> right to know. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, a boo. lot of revelations were uncovered in that trial today. Including Not Assassin's the least Creed of which was... <laughs> The fact that this case is largely connected to another one two years ago involving the sphere, the Apple of Eden. Is yeah. that it? Yeah, yeah, I remembered it. Why Holy shit. I haven't wow. played Assassin's Creed in since Dang. fucking Assassin's Creed 2. Holy shit. You remembered that? Wow, okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Evidence from that case was stolen as well, though I expected as much. I know how obsessive Officer Marshall can be. That trial really wasn't fair, was it? Ugh. I believed in you, Lana. I believe that no matter what happened, you'd always stick to the truth. You can't handle the truth! <laughs> it couldn't be helped, Emma. At that trial two years ago, I sold my soul. Well, all drama aside, the fact of the matter is, at 5.15, there was no murder at the police department. Tell me it's not true, Lana. What the witness, Miss Star, said... About you stabbing Mr. Goodman with a knife? It's only the final day of investigating. I need to hear yeah. the fucking truth from you. Lana, I don't understand. Or was this still somehow self-defense, but I don't understand what the fuck is going on. Why won't you tell us? Tell me. Emma, this doesn't involve just me. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Lana look so phased before. Yeah. Detective Lana Sky. It's true. I was a member of the police force two years ago. She was amazing! That's a duo right there. Th they still talk about all the cases she and Chief Gant cracked together. Together? <laughs> Chief Gant? He was the deputy chief of police back then, but he still worked the crime scenes. Damon Gant. He was everything I aspired to be. They were the best team ever! They solved crimes before the reports could even be filed! Emma really idolizes her big sister. But now you're chief prosecutor. What happened? That is a big difference. I always planned on becoming a prosecutor. The reason I became a detective was... to gain experience investigating crime scenes so you could use that experience in court, right? Wrong! Gant's uh, help in the uh, SL9 case was crucial to its resolution. After that, he became chief of police and arranged my transfer to the prosecutor's office. Maybe I should ask more about this investigation of theirs two years ago. Yeah. Boom! You ask it. Two years ago, I was second in command of the detectives investigating Dark. Second in command? That means the investigation lead was Damon Gant, right? Yes. Deputy Chief Gant and I shared the same office and the same investigations. They even had the same office. Damn. We led a team of the best detectives on the force. Detective Goodman, whose case it was, 
Jake Marshall and Angel Star. It was the first time Marshall worked with his brother. He was quite gung-ho. Without a doubt, Joe Dark was the serial killer. We asked him to come in for questioning. We were desperate for evidence. That was when his final murder took place. When he tried to murder Emma. Prosecutor Marshall was trying to save me from Dark. You see, the first person who happened upon the scene of the crime was me. Huh? Now you tell us. Yeah. <laughs> first one She likes saving information for like the last second. The dramatic thing. Yeah. <laughs> Damon Gant and Neil Marshall were the ones questioning Dark that day. The investigation was in its final stages and Dark must have suddenly panicked. So he waited until Gant and Marshall let their guards down and fled the room. From there, he ran straight to the office shared by Deputy Chief Gant and myself. That's where he found me. So you were the first person run to the scene, Lana? It appears so. I was filing some papers while Gant and Marshall were questioning Dark. Damn! Oof. When I returned to my office, I saw three bodies on the floor and smelled blood. Three bodies? Prosecutor Marshall, the victim Emma, who had passed out. And the suspect, Joe Dark. During the struggle, it seems Mr. Marshall struck a final blow before he died. Joe Dark had incurred a minor, in minor concussion and lay unconscious. What did you do? To be honest, I panicked. I picked up Emma, carried her out of the room, and just held her. Can't blame her after all her sister must have gone through. For real. After that, I placed Dark under immediate arrest. Let me get this straight. You were all involved in the SL9 incident? That's right. Quite a coincidence, hmm? I don't buy it. What? What are you saying? There's no way. Everyone! Involved in this trial was also involved in that incident. Just by chance. But that case was solved two years ago! At least one person went to extremes because they didn't believe it was truly solved. Officer Marshall. Yes, his actions came as a surprise to me as well. Ever since his brother died, he's changed completely. I guess he wasn't convinced with the ruling against Joe Dark. Ugh. Life doesn't end with the closing of a case. Everyone has to live the rest of their lives with their memories. That case just not might be over yet. Huh? Emma was assaulted by Dark at the police department, right? Yes, in the office that Damon Gant and I shared. The office that Mr. Gant now occupies by himself, the chief's office. Maybe we should have a look at the chief's office, the site of the final SL9 murder. Ooh, how the fuck are we going to get in there? <laughs> I, I, I guess we'll just move to the criminal affairs Be department. like, hey. <laughs> February 24th, police station, criminal affairs, department, <laughs> Dept. I don't see a tech gumshoe anywhere. Things seem kind of quiet here today. You're right. Chief of Detective seems the same, though. Why don't we go look for some other people to talk to? Right. We can come back here later. Well, I was hoping I could go into yeah. a room. I guess not. I can go to the entrance, see if there's anyone at the entrance. Since it just <sighs> decided to force me inside yeah. without going to the entrance first, just fucking warp yeah. right to it from the fucking entrance. Ah. Okay. Oh. oh, hey, buddy. Howdy, Bambina. <laughs> I've missed saying that word. Oh, Mr. Marshall. I never thought things would turn out the way it would turn out this way Whoa. when I woke up this morning. You I, had right? fucking, I had a fucking stroke. <laughs> Quay Sarah Sarah. It's you never... Quay Sarah Sarah. Well, you know what? He's shuddering, so he says <laughs> Quay Sarah Sarah because that's the way he speaks. Like Cause adios. Because he's, he's a Southern American. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an American. You never know where life will lead you, eh, Bambi? Do you know what Quay Sarah Sarah means? No fucking idea. Whatever will be, will be. It's kind of like, you know... It is what it is. That's it's basically what it means. Okay. Yeah. I should have known my luck had run out when old Billy dried up this morning. What? Billy? Must be his pet cactus. Uh, Say, where are you headed? I used to have a pet cactus. I killed it. <laughs> Just over to the prosecutor's office for a little intense, <laughs> which is impressive. I will say, as someone that worked in the garden center, it is impressive to kill a cactus. His name was Ashitaka, too, from Princess Mononoke, and he shriveled up and died. 
I think it's because I had him on my bookcase in my room and I always kept my blinds closed. Yeah, that didn't help. And then you so also... So I kind of forgot. I also don't think you ever watered him. Like, Because I'm like, oh, it's a cactus. He only needs water yeah, every once in a while. And every then, once in a while, but you just forgot. He's, 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 he died and you I was very it. sad. You killed a cactus. I killed Ashitaka. That lives in just <laughs> dryness. Okay. <sighs> All right. Just over to the prosecutor's office for a little interrogation. <laughs> it's a voluntary appearance, but we all know I won't be coming back. Sorry, but you can't go in the evidence room today, partner. But, Mr. Marshall, why did you do it? Why the prospectors head west? To find gold. If ever there was a case I needed to know the truth about, it was this one. Before you turn yourself in, Mr. Marshall, would you mind telling us exactly what happened? Huh. <laughs> Looks like I won't be getting this steak lunch today. Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we talk? <laughs> Dark trial? Something's fishy about that trial from the beginning. Mm. It wasn't just me either. All the detectives thought so. What do you mean, fishy? Some of the facts reported were inconsistent with the evidence we found. For example, the murder weapon. Even the murder weapon was different? The murder weapon? You mean that switchblade knife with the broken tip? That was Joe Dark's all right. But in the initial autopsy report, a question was raised. A question? The blade of the knife was not a perfect match with the wound the victim sustained. Uh... What does that mean? It means there's a good chance that knife was not the murder weapon. Uh... What? <laughs> However... Right, Team in, Alan. <laughs> in the report... Uh, Why? In the report that was finally submitted... Uh -huh. That possibility... Because I love Tim Allen, I okay? shouldn't have said and anything. I, I, I loved... Tim the Tool Man Taylor, fucking home improvement, best show on the planet, and in, in like the eighties, fucking that, that possibility had not been erased. It was in the nineties, though, wasn't it? It was like late eighties, early nineties. Late eighties, late, late eighties, <laughs> early nineties. I don't know because I was I was born in ninety three, so I don't know when it first came out. I just watched watch it on Nick at Night. Late eighties. <sighs> the facts have been concealed with forced evidence. That case left behind scars on all of us. The scars that the SL9 innocent left but Whoa, are you alright there, Emma? <laughs> that the SL9 in 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 The SL9 incident left behind. Especially on my brother. He's got a hefty scar. It's called <laughs> death. <laughs> I got the looks, but he got the brains. Um he was one of the actually, best Actually he got around. the looks and the brains. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think really the only difference is number one, uh, Detective or uh, the, the, the country marshal over here <laughs> has longer hair and facial hair. Other than that, they pretty much have the same well, face. Well, he's also more tan. Yeah. Yeah. But Anyways. his brother, <laughs> woo -wee. He was one of the best prosecutors around. I just made detective when it went down. It was our first case together. Anyone who agrees with last. me that his brother was attractive, <laughs> comment. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me a hell yeah. How old was he, your brother? 19. <gasps> he was 27 at the Oh, time. yeah. He's my age and he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, he's 29 <laughs> as a corpse. <laughs> he was awarded the highest honor that very day. The highest honor? You mean the king of prosecutors. I knew it. What are you looking at me like that for? It's an honor for a prosecutor. Mr. Marshall must have really been close to his brother. The day the SL9 incident took place, that wasn't the same day as... That's right. It was the day of the evidence transfer. Mm. Mm, that's a fishy one. Yeah. Interesting. It was drizzling in that morning, and by nightfall, there was thunder. I can't believe two years have already gone by. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. That rhymed. Apparently, some tried to stop you. Or someone tried to stop you. Detective Goodman was murdered. And the evidence locker was empty. Scars! Scars! There was something going on behind the scenes in that case. Just for music. We all knew that later. Every detective involved in that investigation, save one, was taken care of. Miss Starr was fired and I was demoted and boxed away in a tiny room. What about Detective Goodman? They did something to him too, the commissioners would get suspicious. 
No, they weren't careful enough not to be too obvious. They were careful. They were careful enough. <laughs> they? Who are you talking about? Don't get upset, Bambina. I mean, Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Mm. Mm. I wonder if they were a thing. I, 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 I don't know. The investigation lead, Damon Gant, and his second in command, Lana Sky. There wasn't a person on the force who hadn't heard of that duo. That case was the biggest step in both of their careers. After the case ended, Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office, right? Yeah, Damon Gant, the new chief of police, arranged for that to happen. She's never been the same since she left. What? That's what I said. Everyone who knew her said so. And like Chief me. Chief Prosecutor <laughs> Sky was totally different when she was a detective. Now that you mention it, Emma said something like that too. I did. Tell me, what happened to my sister? Sorry, Bambina, but her secret is too well guarded. I never found out. Lana's secret. It all started two years ago. So there you have it. What would make someone go from, I guess, not cold to cold-hearted? Like, who uh, would harden somebody like that? Being involved in some bad shit? Yeah. Like, say, being involved with a partner who was very adamant about True. forging evidence. And then being like, nah, fuck you. I'm going to go be a prosecutor. And I, 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 well, they were stuck on, I don't know, fuck it. That's my story. Did you enjoy it, partner? It was certainly enlightening. Yeah. There's one thing for sure I found out in court today. That boy Edgeworth isn't my enemy. He was the one who used falsified evidence to get a guilty verdict. But someone else was the one who gave him that evidence and planned everything. He was but a mere puppet on the strings. <laughs> that someone is Damon Gant. Don't believe me? Well, I don't blame you. I won't even be a patrolman after today. What the fuck? Oh, um. <laughs> forgot to pop the top off. My bad. <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Sorry, my leg. <laughs> Sorry, Bambina. <laughs> but it was a guy. Still call him Bambina. <laughs> Alright. Too bad I won't be around to work with you. When you become a real scientific investigator. <gasps> Adios, Bambina. Oh! Oh. Oh. oh, that hurts. That, that, that's so feely. <laughs> that actually does hurt. <laughs> I know. Are right, someone in here now? Oh, now they want me to walk in. <laughs> the mapping on this is a little weird. Yeah. Okay. This place is already pretty empty, but today always. is deserted. Always. I thought I said always. No. But you said already. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that must mean everyone's busy solving crimes. Oh, if you're looking for the others, they're in the conference room. <laughs> uh, thanks. Now he actually talked to us. <laughs> what, if Chief Prosecutor saying what she did and this there about what to do? <laughs> about Mr. Edgeworth, not to mention our statement to the media in tomorrow's trial. Dug them dome. There's no, there's forecast going on in Thanksgiving and Christmas put together. I think festive is the word you usually use for those. <laughs> um, sir, we'd like to have a look around Chief Gant's office. What? Just use the connecting hallway to the other bed and take the elevator to the top floor. Really? You mean it's okay for us to go in there? I mean, we aren't police officers or anything. Sure, I hate that bastard. Hey, you're right. You can't go in there. It's off limits. Oh, okay. Now I see where Detective Gumshoe gets his unique charm. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's head to the chief's office. All right. Chief's office. Ooh, whoa. That's a fucking... That's an organ. organ. That's a pipe organ. That is... Okay. And an organ. Sorry, I said uh, this organ. This guy likes it. That would explain a lot. That explains <laughs> his theme music. <laughs> Whoa. Where am I? This is a church. <laughs> Praise Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> In the chief's office, silly. At least that's what it said on the door. Check out that pipe organ. That's real, isn't it? Hey, I used to take organ lessons in kindergarten. They used to call me Little Miss Buck. Little Bambina. Okay. <laughs> Buckbina. I thought I was a genius until they tried teaching me notes. I never could remember where C was. 
Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I was gonna Sorry, say. Sorry, I, I haven't done this voice in a while. <laughs> oh, it's you two. Chief Gant. He put that paper he was reading in his desk. So, Rhino, have you been swimming lately? Uh, uh no, I haven't. I've been kind of busy lately. Swimming? I can appreciate that. I've had my hands full, too, with Mr. Marshall's misconduct and Lana's provocative statement. Provocative statement? Oh, you mean about the forged evidence? Oh, yeah. Two years have passed since that incident. My, how time flies. See that big picture on the wall over there? Yes. He's it, so is, attractive. Sorry. <laughs> God damn it. That's a picture of Lana, Neil, and me. So this is Mr. Marshall's brother, Prosecutor Neil Marshall. We took it to commemorate our work together. Huh. Something's not right with that picture. <gasps> the vase! Yes, the you're vase. absolutely correct. That is the same vase in the office. Did I see did I see something that you didn't for once? Yes, you did. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Something's not right with this picture. I feel smart. I can't quite seem to put my finger on it though. I even did. though I already have. <laughs> oh boy, and it's added to the evidence. I have a feeling we're gonna be pointing that out. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, are you, are you, I mean he's not even staring at me. Anyway, I'd like to remin I'd like to reminisce all day, but there are matters that need my attention. Like my hair. I'm going to lock up here. So let's go out together. Oh. But this office, it was a crime scene two years ago, wasn't it? That case has long since been over. There's no need to investigate it anymore. Do you understand? <laughs> no need to investigate it anymore. It's pretty much <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> all the same, we'd still like to have a look around. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear oh, me. God. I said, <laughs> there's no need to investigate it any more. <laughs> uh, now hurry up and get out. I have a meeting to attend. He unsettles me greatly. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we aren't welcome. Seems that case isn't over with yet after all. What do you mean? Chief Gant denied our request to search the crime scene. That means there must be a reason he doesn't want us looking around in there. You mean like a clue? There's got to be a way we can get inside the chief's office. I mean, Phoenix never really did. Uh, <coughs> he he never really did. Uh, never really was one to follow protocol. There we go. No. He just uh, does what he wants to do. Pretty He's much, He's like, this yeah. place looks pretty sus. Let me just check it out. <laughs> yeah. No one's here today. Not even Miss Star. Everyone's probably busy looking into what exactly went down in the evidence room. That must be where the detectives are. But we proved in court today on the day of the crime. No one was murdered in the evidence room at 5.15 p.m. Yeah. I thought we were finally making some headway in our case. But instead, it looks like we just ended up making Lana look even more guilty. Hang in there, Lana. I've got to find all the answers by tomorrow. All right, let's go ahead and head up into the high prosecutor's I, office. Yes, they're interesting, my brain. This is the last place that we can really go to unless someone's uh, opened up somewhere else. Edgewa! Okay. Miles! Mr. Edgeworth isn't here. Fuck. Damn it! <laughs> Maybe he's been questioned by an inquiry committee? He took a real beating oh, yeah. in today's in court today. That's right. Yeah, with Lana admitting to falsifying evidence two years ago. I guess we'll just have to come back later. So that's why he was all... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Makes sense now. All right. Uh, I guess we'll go to the detention center and talk to Lana again. Uh, maybe I can present the picture we just got. Uh, uh, why uh, does Miles have such bad luck? Like, it's just... It's horrible. Attorneys and prosecutors have no business showing evidence. In whoa. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I was just... Because it was... It's one of those rejection lines. It's taboo, especially when the interests of both parties are involved. She really means it. Lana. Yeah, it was, I was just giving as it was pointless. Still, evidence. I was still reading. Sorry, so I have Fucking no idea. Rude. You might need to pull up a walkthrough. Oh boy, okay. Because I'm now at a dead end, unless I can go <laughs> back <laughs> inside and it get. Oh wait, maybe not, because it's going to give oh, me something okay. new, I guess. All right, and I guess next time, we'll <gasps> see where this leads us to break into that fucking office. Break 
I don't know why that We're going to break the law to solve the law. That was kind of deep. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Lana did. 